I'm going to start by showing you a really simple technique for changing color. Now this works really well when the image that you're dealing with has one main color. Like this picture of a car, the main color here is yellow. Uh, now the alterations we're going to make are going to apply to the entire image, which is why it works really well on an image with one main color. So to do this, we're going to have to, in our layers window down here, right click on background. That's just the whole image. We're going to right click on that and convert it to a filter layer. Now I can go to the image menu, adjust and replace color. And I get this little pop-up box. Now I can use this color picker tool to choose the color that I want to replace. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to click somewhere in sort of the middle of the yellow tone that I want to replace. And to help me confirm which color's been selected, I'm going to just do show selection. And you'll see that very little of the car is actually um, selected. But if I increase the tolerance here, uh, and I can keep doing that until more of the car is selected. Okay? So pretty much now, when I've hit my tolerance, maybe near sort of 50, pretty much all of the chassis is going to be included. I might just reduce it a little bit. If you increase your tolerance too far, you'll end up getting everything, including the background and so on. So you don't want to take it too far. So there's no shortcuts in this. But anyway, let's take our tolerance to about 40. And now I've got three really important controls. Hue changes the actual uh, color itself. So it changes like yellows to reds and so on. It kind of shifts the colors. Saturation affects how strong the colors are and brightness affects how light or dark the colors will appear. So if I adjust the hue, look what happens to this before and after. So if I start changing this, see how the after shifts. And so now everything that was previously yellow is now a kind of pinky color, as you can see in my car. Um, if I shifted it the other way, I could make all the yellows go sort of green. Or even further, all the yellows could go blue. But I'm going to try and make my car a kind of pink colour, so I'm going to take it back over here. Now, you'll notice that there's still quite a bit of yellow sticking out and sticking through. Uh, so two different ways of dealing with this. One, as we saw already, I could increase the tolerance. But the other method is I can use this Add Colour Picker tool. And this allows me to choose another colour that I want my settings to apply to. So I'm just going to click now on some of these darker colours that haven't been included so far. And now you'll see that the, um, the pretty much the whole of my car has been affected. So, like I said, we could change the saturation to make these colours a bit stronger or uh, more grey. Sort of depends on what kind of style you're going for. Equally, we can change the brightness so we can make those colours light if we want a lighter colour or darker if we want a cool kind of darker effect. Um, and that's how we do a really simple colour replacement using uh, an image with basically one essential colour.